Apologies for my intense Christmas makeup. I'm going to volunteer somewhere later today, so I just wanted to make sure I was prepared for that. Hello, my name is Emma and I make videos about anxiety, OCPD, and other mental health related things on my channel. Apologies that I haven't posted for literally three weeks in a row. That is so unlike me, I know. I don't even really have an excuse. I just kind of didn't want to. I decided that it wasn't as important as I was making it based on the other things that I was doing, like homework, I guess. I don't know. I haven't even been super busy. I just didn't want to do it anymore, honestly. Um, I mean, videos aren't my favorite things to make and they do take a lot of effort, so I can't tell you whether or not I'll be continuing them in the future. I'm pretty sure if I don't have a schedule, I won't actually do it like any of my other hobbies, but I have been wanting to get back into art and reading and the other hobbies that I used to enjoy before I just stopped doing them altogether. So I might take a break around Christmas time um, again because I'm not really sure what I want to do, whether I want to continue making these because I am usually a little better at writing <laughs> in comparison to talking. So I might just decide to do this sort of thing on my Instagram account. Today I wanted to make a video on OCPD and essay writing because that's something I have been struggling with this semester. Um, it's my first semester at university and obviously there are a lot of essays that you need to write because that's what university's about. I'm going to start this video off by talking about why essays are troubling me so much, like why they give me anxiety and struggles I've been having in relation to OCPD because I have written um, three or so essays so far, which actually isn't that many, but it still requires like a lot of work. And then I will mostly be focusing in this video on things that I have found to help me with that. Mostly I think it's overwhelming because I'm concerned that my ideas aren't as good as they could be or aren't fitting for the topic. There's just so many things that you need to consider when writing an essay, and a lot of it does come through practice, but it's just hard to get a hang of to account for so many things. I just second guess myself a lot. Maybe it's lack of confidence or because I'm not great at essay writing. Well, I mean, debatable. I'm getting there. I try to make sure that all my ideas fit well together and that there's a common theme, which ties into the thesis. Which always terrifies me because it's like one statement that makes your whole essay what it is and if that's one statement is off at all based on what you have written it's not a good essay then it's just hard to get something so uh concise it's kind of related to word counts which are a new thing for me usually it's like you know write this essay and Every time I've had to write an essay, I pretty much go over uh, the expected word count and then I have to delete half of it, which is really frustrating. It isn't efficient at all um, because I end up writing way more than I need to and then I cut out all the good stuff and that stresses me out because it was so much better with those details than when I cut it out just down to the main basic ideas that my essay needs in order to make sense. So I'm still trying to find a balance and work that also out. Also on writing theses, um, <laughs> I'm better at it now than I was in like grade 10 and 12 or whatever. I know how to write one, but I couldn't explain it anymore because I did lose my notes that I took from before um, and they really helped me a lot throughout uh, my grade 12 English year. Like I get how to do it, I just can't explain it, which is concerning because I feel like I don't really understand it then. Plus essays tend to count a lot more than tests do, or at least the same amount, which is scary because I'm much better at taking tests than I am at writing essays, but you know, this semester I have, I think, two essay-related exams, like final exams, that are worth like 30% or something of my grade. I think what scares me the absolute most about writing an essay is all the wasted effort and time I've put into it if I don't get a good grade, which I guess is really an OCPD thing, putting too much effort into it and then still not getting what you want out of it. And it just like adds the pressure on. If I'm working on it at home, it has to be the first thing I do every day and I need to spread it out so I have enough time to work on it. If 
but also not too much time to be perfect at it, which is usually balanced by other things I need to do. And honestly, I'm usually just like exhausted by the time I finish one or two paragraphs, so stopping isn't really a problem for me because um, it's frustrating and difficult. <laughs> I don't want to say that I hate it because it challenges me, but it's like it's not the most enjoyable thing. So it sucks to do it first, but it's also great because then I don't have to worry about it and I know that I've done something to make it better in my day. One component every day, separate the paragraphs, sort of, which avoids burnout. I'm not sure what it is about like planning things on paper, but like I just can't do it on a computer. It doesn't work for me and my plans are always so, so messy, but somehow it makes more sense to me just to jot out ideas and move them around and stuff beginning with like ideas about what you want to write about or the general things you're going to say and then putting them into a structured essay format is what has helped me. It just makes the editing process so much easier. And as I mentioned, I tend to go overly detailed, so I think what I need to start doing is begin with the most basic ideas of what I'm going to talk about and the most important points about them rather than having like seven <laughs> focusing on a lot less and then if I feel like it needs something else I can go back to my list of ideas. What I need to do in order to actually get the essay done is just keep writing. Like write a first draft, don't edit, just write. And that is so painful for my OCPD because like I just want to edit it and make it perfect but it ends up wasting so much time and effort if you do that because a lot of the times, as I said, I cut things out, so I have to push past that it's not good enough in order for it to eventually get good enough. It's also important to take a break between like when you stop writing the draft to editing it so you can look at it with like fresh eyes and decide like objectively what really needs to be done or what needs to be fixed. Even if I'm doing like a really small amount on one day, I still think it's important to take breaks, which I stress in like all my videos about OCPD because it gives your mind a chance to like rest and refresh and not obsess over everything so I can apply like a proper perspective on what I'm writing instead of just trying to get it I done. I use Google Docs for any of my written assignments just because it automatically saves and it's just all in like one location and I can access it online from anywhere so I can work on it like at school or at home. There's a little thing where you can like highlight a word or a sentence and add a comment to it so it'll just like show up on the side of the document, um, a list of like what you have to say about what you've written and I think it's super useful because that's kind of what I do to keep track of the things that I want to change but like I'm either on a roll and I'm getting my stuff down or like I gotta put it there so I know that I need to work on it later. This kind of makes it sound like essays are the most terrifying thing in the world, but I'm really just being honest about how I feel. Um, they're not the worst thing in the world, I promise you. Like once, like as I'm working through it, I realize that it's okay because I'm getting somewhere and like eventually it'll be done and it always turns out okay. That's pretty much all I have for this video. Hopefully it was helpful. Let me know if you liked it or give your suggestions down below if you have any other things you could say that might help. Thank you for watching. See you later. Bye.